de Tocqueville said that when he figured out, when he thought what tyranny would look like when it came to America, not if, but when, he said it'll look like this. It'll cover the surface of society with a network of small, complicated rules, minute and uniform, through which the most original minds and the most energetic characters cannot penetrate to rise above the crowd. The will of man is not shattered, but softened, bent, and guided. Men are seldom forced by it to act, but they are constantly restrained from acting. Such a power does not destroy, but it prevents existence. It does not tyrannize, but it compresses, enervates, extinguishes, and a people. English was his second language. <laughs> Isn't that brilliant? And doesn't that describe the myriad of laws and regulations and the 20,000 pages in the Code of Federal Regulations and the thousands of pages of new laws being passed all the time? We're breaking some of those laws now and couldn't possibly know. So what can we do? We can learn the lessons of history and human nature. I have college-age sons and they bring college-age people over. And I get to talk to them about the founding and about the Constitution. And they are taught in their colleges to disparage the founders as dead white European males. And to say that the Constitution is for a bygone era of, of farmers. And I ask them, really, what is it that makes you think you're so smart? And they say, well, we can, we can text. Uh, we, we can Twitter. Uh, we, these guys never used a laptop, never drove a car. I said, well, you, how long do you suppose it would take if we brought Benjamin Franklin forward for him to learn how to drive a car? A day. The next day, he'd be improving it. How long would it take you if you were transported back there to become fluent in five languages and learn the history of the world? Our founders were fluent in history and in human nature. We can teach these lessons to our children, our friends, our neighbors, and our enemies. And we can learn and teach the United States Constitution.